that's a philosophical question that, you know, each, I think the person who answers that question at eat art means something different. Just, you know, I mean, there's just so many different, everybody's got their own idea of what's art and what's not art. <clears throat> the level of the art education the person has as to what they think art is. If you asked 100 artists that question, you'd get 100 answers. Oh, that's always the tough question. That's a tough question. I never realized what a tough question that is. Well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee, you asked hard questions. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to answer that question. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that uh, anybody has a, definite, a definitive uh, uh, answer to that question. There's no answer. <laughs> it's up to interpretation by anybody using the word in a sentence. The definition uh, after the years I have no clear, I haven't got it clear yet. It's just sort of like the question of where did we come from and who we are and where are we going when we die. Nobody knows the answer, and nobody needs to know the answer. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know, but I guess when I figure it out, I'm done. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Art is in the eye of the beholder. I think art is in the eye of the person that's looking at it. Art is in the mind of the beholder. A materialization that, that is occurring out of the human mind. I had a wonderful answer for you back then about a week and a half ago. Now I've forgotten what it was. The shamans were the first artists. They were producing art in order to connect with the spirits, with the, with the universe. There's a concept that goes at least as far back as Plato that we kind of, that humans kind of live in, in two rooms, uh, so to speak, that, that we're, we're physical in one room and spiritual in the other room. You know, here we eat and sleep and here we build cathedrals and paint and so on. And um, the, the artist is the person who, um, who, who, who builds the door between the two rooms. For art is techne, and uh, it's a representation of, spirit, of experience. It means repre represent or artificial. Something that in culture that you can live without, but with it, it, it really enriches people's lives. Art is what you want to call it. Art is uh, what you say it is. <laughs> Whatever you think art is, is what it is. <laughs> it's, it's what I want it to be, I think. Art is what you perceive it to be. Art is what the artist says it is. Well, it's the same thing as religion, politics, and babies. Everybody determines what art is. Somebody else says that's art, how am I going to argue that it's not? In this time, people can't believe that people actually make anything, you know, it's all made by the, the corporate robot or something. Art is a product of wealth. Only wealthy people can do it. I always say money was what makes great art great. Art is valuing. If it sells, it's art. When, when, I, when I am doing a piece of art that is coming from inside, I don't care about the money aspect, what it's going to sell for. It's fulfilling the creative urge. Something that comes from extremely deep within you. For me, art's an expression. It's an expression. I think it's an expression of, of what someone feels, an expression of my interests, my, my passion. It's just your personal expression. Expression of um, who I am. It's just a creative expression. It's an expression of creativity solely. Expression of your soul. It has something to do with, with the soul that's expressed through the piece. When they're buying a piece of our artwork, they're buying a piece of me. One person is able to take their soul and give it to the world. That art is, uh, is the spirit made real. Just an extension of my soul. Art is my soul. It's my life. Oh, a lot of people would say that art, art is an expression of what's in your soul. Uh, some people's souls seem to be a little more vacuous than others. God expressing itself. Like the savior of the world. I mean, it's my religion. Something made by hand that comes from the heart. Art is what you make it. Art has to come from the heart. Something if somebody makes that they put their heart into. I think art is, is any almost anything that a human being can create. Art is something that evokes an emotional response. Something that you can see, something that you can touch, 
that evokes emotion. Something that, that you can look at and really makes you feel good. Anything that moves a person. Something that moves me inside. For me, art has to get a rise out of me. Something that tickles the imagination. My art are my joyful noises. I need to be stepping forward, you know, evolving with each piece. If it isn't changing constantly, it's not art. It's just, just purely craft. Pushing the envelope. Some passion and belief in it. The, the painting has life. I think it's magic. The decisive moment. Sort of a different way of looking at the world. Art is something that makes the viewer think or see something new. Uh, bringing the unseen forth. We rather like. And as a Makara, I, I like the sunshine to the gym. I rather like. So cute. Here it is. <laughs> That's a very difficult question. And when I go to an art gallery these days, I'm wondering if they know what art is. <laughs> art is whatever you want it to be. Art's anything you can get away with. <laughs> One man's art's another man's fart. <laughs> uh, my idea of art is when Beckham bends that ball into the back of the net. But I, <laughs> I just feel like I need to be an activist artist. I need to touch on social issues. What kind of bothers me is that there's so many artists, and I'm not, I don't mean to belittle their capabilities as artists, but they fancy themselves as politicians or social engineers. Just to set milestones of the civilization of humanity. I, I see it everywhere. Art is completely around us. Anything is art. It can be good, bad, doesn't have to be pretty to be art. It's beauty and joy and uh, sharing that with others. Making beautiful things. It's a cathartic act is what it is. Doing the best you can at one thing. But it was the reason I got up and put my pants on in the morning. It's my, my wanting to get up every day and do some art. I think that's, that's what it is. You're making me cry. <laughs> when we wake up in the morning, all the stuff we do all day long until we go to bed constitutes our artwork. Like an addiction that you have to feed, but it's a positive addiction. It's, it's, it's human creation personified. Art is just your... Uh, manifestation of your activities. It's an exploration of being alive. I think art should speak in an et like an eternal voice that will always remind you that the true thing about being alive is the rapture of being alive itself. The thing that nature is not. But whatever you see we've done here, nature does, never does this. Nature does not wow. do this. Nature the does passion and the happiness that's of that's creation to flow through us at our fingertips onto the canvas or the pottery or whatever it is, whatever our... Well, uh, gee, that's a good question. I've had lots of answers to this. Definition. I'm wondering if they know what art is. It's a Something somebody makes that they put their heart into and that actually make it with passion. People then like that's to have art. It doesn't mean it's good art, their lives but because it's what they put their heart um, in. It enhances their existence. Just oh, to take a picture Art is making stuff. Yeah, like one guy said, he said, why do you do this? He said, well, if I didn't do this, I would be a plumber. We're going down to the art room. You think it's really cool You know that 
picture sitting in the best room in the school. You get a great idea. You're walking on air. Your mind can take a trip, but you never leave the chair. You're going down to the art room. All your friends.